Shalom. Barak the Yahoo, Bashim, Yahweh Sharing, Bashim Karkadash, all praises and glories definitely do, especially in the times we're living in. Much honors and respects to the apostles and others of Great Love Stone, and to all the brothers out there doing this work in sincerity and truth, I say, Shalom. All right. Uh, Elder Apostle Tahar has deemed this uh, the uh, turning up that the Most High, the Hav Bashim, the Hav Shai, right? Most High and the Son, they're going to turn things up here in uh, 2022. All right. So, uh, without further ado, you know, uh, you know, we're going to get into it. All right. Uh, you had originally what? It was a guy called Comfy, the Comforter. All right. Lord took him. All right, um, and recently, uh, what is it, uh, now, and he's been taking out rappers this past year, 2021, he's taking out a lot of rappers out, and the uh, Lord is going to take out uh, a lot of you uh, Jakes, all right, that uh, are coming with damnable heresies, you know, you uh, false prophets out there, he's going to take a lot of you out, he's going to turn things up here in 2022, all right, and uh, so let's get started, all right, this is 2 Peter, all right, 2, verse 1, but there were false prophets also among the people, the same as it was in the ancient times with the zealots, you know, the, the Pharisees, the scribes, so on and so forth, all right, you had all these different parties, all right, amongst Israel, all right, you know, they were uh, against those that were, you know, uncircumcised, meaning that they weren't following the ways and customs of the Israelites, you know, uh, they grew up outside, you know, of uh, Israel and stuff like that, you had all this stuff going on, all this wickedness, all right. Well, the same here today, all right, because you have Israelites that are teaching false doctrine, okay, and there's only one true doctrine, and as uh, Yahweh Shai himself tells you, all right, in St. John 7, 16, my doctrine is not mine, but him that sent me, and who sent him? The Most High, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. you understand? So, but there be false prophets also among the people. Among who? Among Israel. All right? And remember, the Lord, as he says in Amos, the ninth chapter, all right, which we could start in uh, 9 and 8. I'll see if I go over there right after this. I'll take this over there. All right? He talks about that, you know, uh, he will sift out through the house of Israel. That's how he starts the cleansing. He starts with his own house. All right? And he's already started. Things are just going to be upgraded. All right? To a much higher level, people. So you need to be prepared for it. All right? As it says, when you read Psalms 91, all right? A thousand shall fall at thy side and 10,000 at thy right hand. Well, you're about to witness it. And many people have already died of the plagues. Okay? And, of, and whether through plagues, whether through the sword, meaning the gun, I mean, yeah, you're living it. You're living out prophecy in real time. You're living in the last leg and extension of the revived Roman Empire, the last and fourth beast. In America, Babylon the Great represents that. Okay? And that's in the scriptures, people. It's in the scriptures. You know, it's just coded with allegory, symbolism. But without understanding and looking up the etymology of words, you would never get it. Because you're not going to find the word America in the Bible. Okay? But it's there. 
Okay? All right. So even as there shall be false teachers among you, among who amongst Israel, all right, who privately shall bring damnable heresies like 12 tribes or all Negroes. That's not scriptural, people. Because the Israelites are scattered into every nation. So the Israelite man got together with a heathen woman and they had children, and maybe that children takes on the outer appearance of the heathen woman. Nonetheless, those are Israelites by the seed of their fathers. And that goes back to uh, Numbers 1 and 18, because it is the father that determines the nationality, all right, the race, okay, of that child, because it is his seed. Women do not have seed, all right? So we know that we have Israelites scattered into all nations, because we were scattered into all nations, and there are many precepts you can go into, James 1 and 1, to the Israelites that are scattered abroad. You understand? All right, and there are many precepts talking about the scattering, the uh, disbursement, all right, of the Israelites, okay? And we're talking, this goes back even prior to the fall of Jerusalem, okay? When you had the breakup of the northern and the southern kingdom. Do you understand? The split between Jeroboam and Rehoboam, okay? You understand, people? And then on top of all that, so you get the split, you get the fall of Jerusalem, you get the Atlantic slave trade, which started with the northern kingdom here in the Americas, the 10 tribes, okay? And then 126, 127 years later, they go and kidnap our brothers and sisters out of uh, West Africa, all right, to join the party of the Atlantic slave trade. You understand, people? We scattered into all nations. So we have Israelites that look like the other nations, all right, and are going to speak in that nation's tongue. Nonetheless, they're Israelites by the seed of their fathers. So anybody teaching otherwise is a false prophet. If they're not teaching you, you know, about the karagma, that digital electrical device, they're false prophets telling you, oh, yeah, well, the mark is, is uh, you know, a picture of Caesar Borgia or sleeping with white women or an embargo. They're false prophets. All right? All right. So who privately shall bring damnable heresies, right, as such as I explained, even denying the Lord. You see that? Going around using sweet Jesus. Okay? Um, Jehovah. That's not the name of the Heavenly Father. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. When you see and you read the word Lord in the scriptures, in all caps, okay? In the Hebrew Bible, in the Hebrew text, in Hebrew characters, you know what is spelled out? Yahweh. And it's read from right to left. And the same when you find it in in um, Lord, but not in all caps, that would be Yahusha. You understand? All right? All right. So denying the Lord that brought them and bring upon themselves swift destruction. And that's what the Lord is doing, bringing judgment. We are living in the time of judgment. You're living in the time of judgment and of war, of World War III, the Battle of Armageddon. And that is already set up, just like the Karagma. It's already in place, ready to be issued, okay? Like the serpent juice, okay? You understand, people? All right. Let me take you over there, uh, Amos. Give me a minute. All right, this is Amos 9 and 8. Behold, the eyes of the Lord are upon the sinful kingdom. That's America, Babylon the Great. And I will destroy it from off the face of the earth. And good riddance. 
And that's what we're looking forward to because we're looking forward to the new heavens and the new earth, the kingdom, which is here on the earth. Okay? When Yahweh Shai comes with those angels, all right, to do two things. Take up the elect from the four corners, all right? North, south, east, west, from the four corners, from one end of heaven onto the other, all right? And the biggest exodus will come from here, America, Babylon the Great, all right? But we are scattered, all right? So I will destroy it off the face of the earth, saying that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, you see? He will not utterly destroy, which links up with what? Isaiah 14 and 1, and he shall have mercy upon Jacob. Also links up with what? Isaiah 10, 20, all right, 21, 22, right? That a remnant shall escape and return unto the Most High, unto Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, all right? All right, so for lo, I will command, see, command, and will sift the house of Israel among all nations, like as a corn is sifted in a seed, yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. Verse 10, and all the sinners of my people, this would be two-thirds of Israelites, okay, pursuant to Zechariah, right, 13 and 8, they shall be cut off. And die on this side, and die east or death, whether it be by the famine, whether it be by the sword, that thermonuclear fire, if they escape the famine, or whether it be by the concentrated laser fire from the chariot that the angels are in. All right? Again, you take the Karabah, as it says in Revelations 13, 16 through 18. All right? You take that, there are consequences to it. Okay? That you read. In the next verse, in the uh, next chapter, um, Revelation 14 and 10, all right? And you're going to what? You're going to die in that thermonuclear fire in front of witness by the angels and the Lamb, Yahweh Shai, all right? Okay? So you're warned not to, okay? You're warned to resist and to not give thy consent. All right? Because it's a test, a test of your steadfastness in the faith, your integrity, your loyalty unto the Lord. All right? We've shown you this stuff many times. All right? All right. So all the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, see, which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. See that? And that's pride. And that's them believing in a delusion that Esau has given them. All right? We'll end this here. We'll be right back in part two. Show on.